shut the fuck up. You guys. <laughs> my phone just start ringing and fuck my shit all the way up. So now I got to start. Like, y'all ain't just hear me shuffle these cards and all of that. But I, I didn't actually start. I was, like, on the first card. But let me just go ahead and quickly um, glaze over this really fast. This is a new reading. How she feels. How he feels. The top row is representing our watcher. Um, the person who is in and is here today with me. Um, or like this is the this is this I would say this is the feminine. This is not necessarily a divine feminine or a divine masculine read or a soulmate read. This is whoever you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Whoever boo boo thing is, honey dip dip, you know, whoever that is. But this is the top row for our, our our I would say feminine energy. This is usually the person that is watching the video. And this is who you're, the bottom row is our masculine energy or who you're inquiring about. So, sorry you guys. But with the first card, we have the three of diamonds. So three of diamonds, this is for you guys. So you guys are focusing on your work. You're focusing on collaborating. Um... You're focused on collaborating and getting your money with some with, with other people. You're trying to maybe you you might see an idea or a situation like um, that's presenting itself to be quite profitable for you if you collaborate with somebody who, you know, fits your um, fits what you're trying to do. So you could be. You know anything you could be somebody who wants to get into um cryptocurrency there we go there's a tie there's a hot topic <laughs> you guys could be wanting to, to focus on cryptocurrency and you might be wanting to link up or collaborate with somebody who has a little more knowledge on it than you do maybe and that's just you know i'm just throwing that out there you guys y'all need to go check cryptocurrencies out and um you know start start becoming uh interested and knowledgeable on what they're trying to make the new currency be in the future so anyways with the eight of hearts we have someone who is they're changing their direction so you guys are changing your direction you're splitting up from somebody you're leaving someone behind um you're trying to mingle a little bit more actually yeah you're trying to mingle a little bit more um i don't i wouldn't yeah you're you're kind of you could have been you could be leaving a relationship you could have just broken up with somebody completely you could have broken up with your the partner in questioning and um just trying to change directions right now with the eight of spades and this is in your future position with the ace of spades i'm sorry the eight of spades we have someone feeling like there's no choice like their uh, back is against the wall like they um you don't see no other way around a situation but to leave it alone, but to change it. It's like you you want to you want to be there for something or you want to you you try to stick something out. I would say you try to stick something out with a, a past relationship or somebody you just recently separated from and it didn't quite it didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to work out. So you don't see no other choice and it's like I don't know if someone could be married and they're feeling like they want to separate from someone. And also, you guys, this may or may not resonate. Take what does resonate. Leave the rest. Leave it all. Or use as entertainment purposes. Do not live your lives based off of a general reading. For sure, for sure. That is what you do not do, okay? All right. So with the eights here, y'all have two eights. So that's talking about wanting to change quickly you're you're moving towards a change of something quickly you're moving in a different direction um you're wanting to regenerate and reevaluate a, a situation you want to regenerate yourself from just probably going through a lot of bullshit 
probably on some spiritual cleansing type shit, like, you know, purging of all bad things, you know, um, cutting a few people out your life that no longer resonate with you. And that could be, that could be, you know, a relationship. Um, this is also you standing in your power as well. This is you, uh, standing up for yourself. So... I don't know you guys there's a positive change coming your way anybody the person that has chose to it's like you're being gifted for choosing to walk away from a specific person so uh let's see what the person inquiring you guys are inquiring about let's see what they're going through and let me get this commercial up out of here because that's not cute the commercial up oh. And there's another commercial. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Okay, so how the person that you're thinking about, how does he feel or how does she feel? This bottom row right here. Now, this is the person that is probably not watching me. But um, they could be. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> Don't play no games. So, um, the four of... The four spades rep represents someone recuperating, recovering from a, a, a past situation. Um, hmm. They may have had some realizations on a past idea. Um, they took some time out to kind of recover and to recuperate from something from the past some some troubling times that they had to deal with back in the day or just recent recent past but they're they're coming out of this hermit mode so to speak but where they're just kind of doing a lot of self-reflection with the nine of spades we have someone who's having repetitive thoughts and nightmares and anxiety and being depressed over a situation um over a relationship this person has been reflecting on a lot of their own dirt like uh, what they did this person is not necessarily playing the blame game anymore, I, which I imagine that they probably were. But the only way you're like deeply depressed is because you noticed that it was some shit that you did or they did. And they don't know exactly how to go about changing that or making the outcome have different results. Um, and then the song you guys is you guys is Kendrick Lamar's Love featuring Zakari. So with the ten of diamonds, this is this is the this this stands in our our future position. This is what what they have the potential of having. Family tradition, some you know, family business coming together with some type of in some type of social gathering. Um, these are big financial successes, big these are big gains. So I would say that this person has gotten to the point of this it's, it's like they've been rewarded as well for acknowledging their own shit like taking responsibility for their actions and that's just the first step the first step of just self-reflecting and reflecting back to themselves that you know the problem may have it's like you know no one's no one's guilt-free but this motherfucker right here got a, you know, did a lot of that bullshit on their own and created a lot of their self problems and stuff on their own. I'm trying to see why the music just stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> the song was going off. <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry. That was like, oh, that was a dumb moment. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> And in this reading, y'all, I have New Flame by Chris Brown featuring Usher and Rick Ross. Oh, 
<laughs> new flame. Okay, so maybe this is supposed to be for some type of soulmate, twin flame, drama. <laughs> Everybody loves a little drama. So yeah, this could be for that. So I would say that if this was a mirror, if this was an invisible mirror right here, this would reflect as some twin flame stuff. But it's like these two people are right on track of what they're supposed to be doing with the retrograde. The retrograde in Venus making people reflect, doing some deep soul searching on and reflecting on things that they've done and so, and choices and decisions that they've made to get them in the you know to get them to this point. You have to wonder why am I depressed? How did I get this depressed? How did I get this depressed to where I'm having fucking nightmares? So you go and you do some soul reflection and you reflect and you isolate yourself from motherfuckers so you won't be influenced by nobody and you figure that shit out. And yes, you get a you get a cookie, you get a toy, you get a gift too. <laughs> so this was a soulmate that was steady at work um, while they were on their fuckery basically. So, yeah, they got some financial gains coming in. And then you guys collaborate, looking to collaborate with somebody on a new project, a new direction. You being able to push away the bullshit and, and welcome in whatever God and the universe and your divine path has to offer for you. You have your arms open for that and you're trusting what you can't see. And that comes with, with the reward as well. So... Will the two guys, will the two of you be able to come together in love and harmony? <laughs> Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? Everybody has free choice and free will and all that good stuff. So you just never know. So you guys, I hope you continue to bring in newness into your life. Love yourself. Be your positive affirmations. Write your affirmations down. Think about what it is, vision, where it is that you want to be, the person you want to be. Vision it, be it, and I hope you guys are just loving life, like continuing to show your self-worth in the highest form. You guys are beautiful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out with me today. Y'all the shit, remember that? And I love y'all. Pink Alchemist, out.